This is a Lenovo T410S. In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap out the palm rest. Now, on this laptop model, there's a very common issue, and that is, as you can see here, the palm rest will actually crack and split. I've seen them crack all the way through. Um, at, the, at the time of this recording, this laptop is under warranty, and Lenovo is replacing the palm rest under warranty. So if you give them a call and they give you a hard time, just uh, put up a little bit of an argument with them, ask them to talk to a manager, and they will replace it. I work for a rather large corporation. We own hundreds of these things, and I've literally done this repair probably a hundred times or more. So let's get started. Step one, disconnect all power. battery, remove the battery, there's a little slider switch here, and just grab a hold of it right here. And we've got about 14 screws that have to come out. Step one, I'm going to remove the little cover plate here. And get access to your RAM there. And step two, there's a screw right here that holds the keyboard in. The keyboard will have to come out. Okay, then most of the other screws are hidden by the battery. Once you pull the battery out, you can access all the screws around the edges of the battery bay here. There's a screw here. One here. One down here. another keyboard screw here. If you're ever swapping out just the keyboard, these two screws need to come out. Next one's here. And the corner. here that also has to come out. This is the slightly longer screw. And there's another long one down here in the lower left corner. The screw in the corner here actually holds the hard drive cover plate on. It also has to come out. And that one usually doesn't come out with my magnetic screwdriver, so I usually have to get a fingernail underneath it. And your hard drive cover plate lifts off just like that. And hiding in the corner here is one more screw. That's all the screws. I'm going to flip it over and open up. And the next thing we do now is to take off the keyboard. The way I like to do that is to open the display up all the way and kind of grab a hold of it here and here. And if you just pinch it, something like that, it'll pop up or slide up. And then you can lift it right out. And just kind of pull it out like that, and just turn it over. Now, if you're obviously if you're replacing the keyboard, this ribbon cable right here needs to come off, just like that. You don't actually have to take that off in order to swap out the palm rest. But now there's a ribbon cable here that, that attaches the palm rest to the laptop. Just pull up on this little tab, okay, and grab a hold of the palm rest. Should lift right out. Out with the old, in with the new. Reconnect your ribbon cable. Push the connector back down. And you just gotta kind of finagle it into place. 
like that. Put our keyboard back on. Alright, and then I put the keyboard back in, slide it in at the top first, just like that. Straight down. And just kind of give it a little pull forward. Alright. Next up, just replace all your screws. There's really not, not a whole lot to that. I'm not going to bore you with putting all the screws back in. If your hard drive cover plate goes back on, just kind of st stick it in the corner first, just like that. And then slide it forward. That's about it. Power up, give it a test. Should be good to go.